The Ohio State University campus is rocked after a deadly shooting. Good afternoon. I'm Marsha Baumhart. Three people are shot, two of whom are dead. Dan Edwards is live with new information about the case in this top story at noon. Well, Marsha, in a press conference that ended just a few minutes ago, campus officials expressed remorse and regret for a shooting that has now claimed the lives of two people, one being the shooter. Ohio State University officials say around 3.30 this morning, a disgruntled employee, 51-year-old Nathaniel Brown, opened fire on several employees, killing a co-worker and wounding another. Heavily armed campus police searched buildings in the area and found Brown, who then turned one of the two handguns upon himself. He was taken into custody and rushed to the Ohio State University Medical Center, where he was pronounced dead around 7 this morning. Another employee was struck, 48-year-old Larry Wallington, pronounced dead at the scene. A third employee, 60-year-old Henry Butler, survived the shooting, but is listed in stable condition at this hour. There are more than a half a dozen employees of the facilities operation division working at the maintenance building this morning when the suspect entered an office suite with a gun and began shooting. Those employees and other co-workers have been in uh, extended grief counseling and uh, several uh, levels of support by the university. This incident appears to be work-related, that uh, Nathaniel Brown had a poor performance evaluation and came back then to initiate this incident. Well, minutes after the shooting, university officials immediately sent text alerts to all student subscribers, warning them of the deadly shooting not far from the shoe. University officials confirmed that no students were injured in the shooting and classes are being held as scheduled today. Police continue their investigation into this deadly shooting. Dan Edwards, 2 News, on your side.